Hello, my lovelies. Welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's get right into your reading, Gemini. Let's see what Spirit has for you guys for this month of July 2021. We're starting off with the Hanged Man, the Nine of Cups, the Three of Wands, Temperance card here, the Four of Cups, and the Page of Cups. All right, Gemini. All right, so I see you guys in contemplation. For some of you guys, there is a bit of feeling restricted or feeling stagnant when we're talking about love and romance. Um, for some of you guys, it could just be that you haven't really experienced any type of like deep connection or someone that really has sparked your interest. Um, and if you have, I feel like you are experiencing, like I said, a bit of stagnant energy here. Um, maybe dealing with the Pisces, maybe dealing with a Sagittarius, or maybe dealing with uh, any other water energy, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio type of energy here. We do have the Nine of Cups. So this is the ultimate fulfillment, the ultimate happiness or emotional fulfillment. Um, I see that there is a need for you to see things from a different perspective. For some of you guys, it could be that you're dealing with uh, dealing with a person that could be at a distance. For others of you, it could be the feeling of being led astray. You thought things were going progressively well. There was a bit of a standstill and you haven't fully been able to release yourself from that energy. I see you guys thinking or missing the person. Um, however, the temperance and the four of cups indicates to me a person that is struggling to make a choice. Um, it could be that they feel like things have become very routine, like whether it's in the relationship, whether it's in the connection, whether it's in the commitment, if you guys are in a committed relationship, there is a bit of stagnation here. It's almost like dreading type of energy. Now for others of you that are single, this could indicate the feeling of like dread when we're talking about dating or when we're talking about, you know, playing the field, like basically. And what they're saying is you need to see things from a different perspective. You need to change the way you view the dating scene or the way you view um, your relationship, your connection. It's almost like you guys have allowed things to become so ordinary or so routine like that there's no passion there. There's no excitement and of course we all know gemini needs excitement um so there is a bit of frustration there however i feel that for the month of july for a lot of you guys the third uh week of july is going to be very important i feel for some of you guys especially those of you guys that are going to be traveling around that time uh the potential to meet someone is very heightened here so the probabilities of you meeting someone new in the third week of july is definitely um very prominent for you guys and this is a, it could be a Sagittarius, like I said, or a Pisces energy. However, I do feel that there is, uh, this person is definitely going to be exciting. This person is adventurous and is definitely going to get your attention. Now, for those of you guys that are in a relationship, again, like I said, it's very important to maintain the passion, to maintain the excitement of a relationship. Get out of doing the same thing over and over uh, get out of the routine, make things a little bit more spontaneous. If you guys just feel like you guys haven't been connecting that much, be spontaneous, show up one day with flowers, with roses, um, don't plan and, and, and just, you know, try to be more spontaneous, um, going on, you know, exciting adventures, going hiking, going around or being around nature or around water is going to bring a lot of, um, a lot of very strong and re-energizing type of energy towards not just you, but the relationship itself. They are definitely telling you, Gemini, for the month of July, it's going to be very important um, to not suppress uh, the feeling of stagnation. If anything, go out there and make things happen. Do things that you wouldn't necessarily do on everyday basis, only because if you feel or if you continue to be in that stagnant energy, you're going to be extremely restless for the remaining of July. Um, and restlessness leads to very low patience and low patience 
leads to constant bickering or fighting or arguing with people. So again, try to keep your energy lively, Gemini. Very important. Be spontaneous for this month of July. I hope that this gives you guys insight, understanding, wisdom, and knowledge, and we'll see each other soon. Bye.